Guys, what is going on? It is Chris Colgan, your favorite Northern Virginia, DC area realtor. And I gotta tell you, the market has definitely changed as interest rates are now hitting an unbelievable 7.5%. I just got back from Phoenix, Arizona. Our company place puts on a huge event for all of the partners of the company, which I am one. And there's a couple thousand agents there. We had some big speakers like Sarah Blakely, the founder of Spanx and her husband, Jesse Itz but one of the things that I really learned was Goldman Sachs owns part of our company and they came out they talk about the state of the market and they go on to say this has been one of the weirdest markets they have ever seen as the Fed keeps raising interest rates and they do expect a 30-year mortgage to go into the eights but what they said was there is still a tremendously low inventory around the country specifically here in the DC area which is still driving demand and prices and then they also also went on to say that it seems that five and a half percent is the magic number and they expect that their mortgage rates will be back down to five and a half percent in the next two years or so so what does that mean if you're thinking about buying don't really focus on that rate too much because you can get in there and then you can always refi when it gets down to about five and a half percent and most of the banks are expecting that to happen as well so they're doing different programs and all that so definitely keep that in mind one other cool thing that happened in Phoenix was I rode in a Uber, or it wasn't even an Uber, it was owned by Google, but a cab that had no driver, and it was the most trippiest experience I've ever had in my life. About 90% of my friends on Facebook were like, you're crazy, but it was probably the coolest thing I've ever seen. One other thing that was really interesting was I was talking to agents from around the country, and real estate is so localized as agents in Austin, Texas were really struggling. Some agents in California were really struggling. Florida was starting to see a big slowdown, but here in the DC area, we're still pretty strong. I think we're more in a normal market, but I wanna dive deep and to each local area here in Northern Virginia. But the first thing that I wanna show you guys is the MLS, Bright MLS puts out a little statistic here where they go through and they talk about the market in general for the Washington DC Metro. And what they go on to say is this, this includes parts of Maryland, DC and then Northern Virginia. It does include all of Northern Virginia, but you can just see here, it says August median price in Washington DC Metro area was 585, which is down from 600 in the peak of June. However, year, prices year over year are still up 5.4%. So prices are still up. They do go on to say, which I've noticed as well for my business as well, is the lower end prices like condos and townhomes are moving a lot faster than single families. Why is that? Because a lot of single families are just like way overpriced. They go on to say, look at this just real quick in the market in general. And this is one thing I'll give you guys a little bit of economics at a teaching here, the little bit that I know, obviously. Well, I've been doing this for a long time, but closed sales are down 13%. Medium sales price again up 5.4%. But look at that, medium days on the market is still down. So it's down four days. And then new pendings are down 19%. But this is the one that I look at. New listings are down 20%. Why is that? If you have a 3% interest rate, you're probably not gonna sell and get into an 8% interest rate. But in one of my videos before, I went on to tell you guys that 50% of all home buyers in our area, I think it's even more, are actually first time home buyers. So we have a lot of first time home buyers. Month supply though is starting to start to go up a little bit. I am noticing that in some of the houses. If you're thinking about selling, we would love to help you. Obviously text me anytime at the number below. But think about this, your house has to be in really great shape right now. Most people are putting a lot of money into their down payments and their closing costs to buy down points. They just don't have money to put into a house so you cannot just do a fixer up anymore i'm definitely noticing that so but you know what month supply at 1.4 when you get into three to six you're still in a seller's market so anything above six and above is in a buyer's market at that point meaning buyers can get better deals so right now in the dc era we are still in a um you know a seller's market all right really quick one cool stat they really showed about that it's not really cool but it's interesting they go on to say the medium sales price in dc is 585 right but for every one percent increase in rates that adds an additional $350 to the price of someone's mortgage every month. So you can imagine if you didn't lock in at six and you wait and it goes up to seven and a half, it's an additional five, $600 a month. So if you're waiting to lock in, definitely don't wait. Like look for that perfect house and then you can always refinance. So let's get into each local area here in Northern Virginia and see how each market is doing. All right, number one, let's talk about Stafford County, part of like the outlier of Northern Virginia here. So new listings is down year over year. 
30%. So not a lot of houses for sale. New pendings are down 30%, and then the closed sales are down 30%. So that's one thing, right? There's just less transactions going on right now. So there's a lot of agents leaving the business. One thing though with Stafford is their, their medium sales price has been a little stagnant. It's around 1.7%, 4.99. There's still a lot of new building going on over there. And a lot of the builders have had to really lower their price, which I'm thinking probably plays a part into that. And then active listings though, they're still close to their five-year low. Their five-year average was 330 homes. Right now their average is 233 active listings. And then their average days on market is 22 days with a five-year average of 25. And then houses sell for 99% of the asking price. So houses in Stafford are taking a little bit longer to sell, makes sense. I mean. If a little bit off 95, you know, some of the houses can get pretty expensive, especially the new construction ones. So definitely keep that in mind. Definitely want to watch Stafford and kind of keep our eye on it. All right, let's talk about Prince William County where the legend himself lives, Chris Colgan here. And we have a lot of fights going on right now with our local supervisors with these data centers coming in. Most people don't want them, but some people do want them. So there's just a lot of things going on around here. But anyways, Prince William, new listings down 35%, new pendings down 27%, and then closed sales are down 25%. So there's a quarter less sales in Prince William County. But look at this, the average, the medium sold price is up 9%. So Prince William County is probably one of the more hotter markets in all of the country, to be honest with you, up 9% to 551,000. Listings are at a close to their five year low at 456. Then the average days on market at 13. Now during COVID, we did see some of that be like two or three days. So you can see that houses are definitely taking longer to sell. But then one stat that I like to look at is everyone is pretty much getting what they're, what they're asking. So houses are selling for 100% for of the asking price. Now let's look at like specific cities over in Prince William. This taking a quick look at some of these medium sale prices some of the bigger parts like bristow's is up five percent year over year gainesville is actually up 12 percent and then haymarket it believe it or not is down two percent i think with the haymarket probably what happened was there started to be some new construction townhomes coming in this town of haymarket for six seven hundred thousand people just aren't willing to pay that honestly at this point and you look at manassas is up 12 percent. so manassas is a very hot market and then Woodbridge is up 4%. So that's what's going on in some of the bigger markets over in Prince William. All right, let's check out Loudoun County. If you follow me on Instagram at Chris Colgan team, I'm telling you Loudoun County is super popular. A ton of people message me about Loudoun all the time and they just ask me questions about it. You better be following me on there. And if you're thinking about buying or selling, definitely text me at the number below. But Loudoun County sales are down 23%. New pendings are down 23% and then closed sales are down 13%. Prices are up year over year, 4% 4, 4 or 3.9 to 686,000 of a median sales rate. So what does that mean? Just like kind of an average market, right? Three to 4% uh, increase is average, which is actually pretty good. We don't really want, I mean, of course you do if you own a house there, but going up to 10 to 20% a month is definitely unhealthy. But look at this though, Loudoun is at their five year low for active listings, 467,000 average days on market 15 and then the average homeowner is getting 100% of their asking prices so the days of like low balling are definitely not here at all even with these high interest rates so let's check out some specific cities in Loudoun okay cool so just look at some cities over in Loudoun right like let's get some of the big ones Chantilly which would be like South Riding up 16% uh, Round Hills up 15% Ashburn's up 8% Leesburg is down 6% so Leesburg is kind of shifting Le Leesburg is a little bit of an outlier there and then all Aldi is down 16% uh, as well. So, you know, that's one thing to keep in mind, you know, when you have those expensive, expensive new constructions, the builders, they gotta get those uh, houses off their books and they start to really reduce them. So that's kind of what's going on. And Sterling is up 13%, which in the beginning of the video, what did I say? The, at the Washington DC market in general, the cheaper houses right now are the ones that are really moving. So let's check out now, um, let's go over into Fauquier County. So looking at Fauquier County, which is kind of like a smaller county, but anyways, down 7% new listings, new pendings are down 7%, closed sales are down 30%. And look at this though, their medium sales price is up 11%. So Fauquier is a hot area. Medium sales price is 595,000. They have 168 active listings and then their average days on market is 27. So think about that. Fuck here, it's going to be taking a month on average for a house to sell. Like houses are not just flying off the shelf out there. And then people are getting 98.5% of their uh, asking price. Looking at economics, right? So if you're a buyer and you see a house 
has been on the market for a month, they're gonna be more prone to going in lower and offering them lower than what they want. And that's what's happening over in Falkir, but it makes sense. Falkir is kind of a little bit further out. They have some higher end farms and stuff like that. Let's check out now Fairfax County, the biggest county in Virginia. Now, one thing I'm really seeing with Fairfax is Fairfax is getting a lot more popular. A lot of people that maybe wouldn't went further out into the suburbs are getting called back into the office and they're going into Fairfax and they don't mind if it's a townhouse or a condo due to the location, but Fairfax, 976 new listings down 25%. New pendings are down um, 17%. Closed sales are down 12%, and then the medium sold price is up 12%, almost 13% to 715,000. So Fairfax is a really hot market. Active listings, five year low, 979, and then days on market, 16. So that's one of the lowest in Northern Virginia. So if houses in Fairfax are moving, and then the average homeowner is getting 100.8%. So people are getting what they want for their house in Fairfax. Let's look at some like the bigger cities in Fairfax. All right, so just check out these, some of these medium sale prices in Fairfax, right? Let's look at this. So Oakton up 13%, Vienna's up 9%, Falls Church up 20%, which is the second highest, richest place in the United States. Springfield up 15%. So some of these areas are just really up. Reston is up 9%. So sale prices in Fall, uh, Fairfax are really going up a lot. Let's check out Arlington and Alexandria. All right, looking at Arlington, I think I feel like Arlington could be struggling a little bit. Let's take a look though, but new listings are down 7%, new pendings are down 20%, and then closed sales down 18% with a medium sold price up 7.1%. So they're doing pretty good. Only active listings 285, the five year average 354. But yeah, days on market is up above their five year average. So houses are taking longer to sell in Arlington than the average homeowner is getting 99.5% of asking price. Again, you know, the Amazon headquarters is open now. There's a lot more people working in there. I think some of the people are moving out a little bit more into Fairfax. Let's see if that's the same case over in Alexandria. Last video, I know Alexandria was on fire. It was like things were just popping over there. But if you look at it, new listings are down 15%, uh, new pendings are down 10%, closed sales are down 6%. So they, they still have a lot of activity, but look at that. Medium sold price is up almost 15% in Alexandria City. So Alexandria is doing really well. Five year uh, average on listings, 177 right now. I mean, 177 active listings with their five year average being 220. Days on market 16, and then homeowners are getting 99.6%. So everyone pretty much in Northern Virginia is getting what they want. But the big thing I think that's starting to change is that month supply, I'm really watching that to see if that starts to get to two or 3%, then we're gonna start to see maybe some prices come down. But in the meantime, it doesn't really look like that at the moment. There's just not a lot of new construction around here. We don't have builders giving away incentives. There's not a lot of building going on around here. So we will see what happens. But I definitely think the Fed's gonna do one or two more rake heights, and that could potentially change the market a little bit. But you know what? I think this winter, it'll be a little bit slower as most people are gonna stay on the sidelines and most sellers are not gonna sell low inventory buyers waiting for rates to come down could mean just like a little bit of slower thing but it doesn't mean that the prices are going to drop so i think we're still pretty strong here in northern virginia what do you guys think comment below i love reading your comments i love getting your text if you're thinking about buying or selling obviously you know me the northern virginia expert here i think something like a million or two million people see one of my videos between youtube instagram and tiktok a week which is just incredible to me i went somewhere the other day and i had like three people take pictures with me like i was with jlo or something which i love but you're thinking about buying or selling my team and i would love to be your agents of choice as always i will see you guys at the top or from the top